The Raider Outboard's Model 50 is the world's leading submersible, air-droppable, multi-fuel outboard motor. Developed to meet the needs of the modern warfighter, the Raider 50 provides a military spec propulsion system designed specifically for the unique combat maneuverability requirements of Special Operations Forces. In this video, we will be reviewing the submersion capabilities and dewatering system operation of the Raider Model 50. The Raider 50's unique dewatering system allows the motor to be started after being submerged at depths greater than 65 feet for periods exceeding 24 hours. The Raider Outboard's dewatering lever grants single control operation of the entire dewatering system, allowing the cylinders and fuel system to be cleared of water simultaneously. The entire procedure can be completed with the cowling in place and with practice, skilled operators can have the motor running in under 30 seconds. Before submersion, it is critical that the pre-operations checks found in the owner's manual be completed. These checks ensure that the motor will be operational upon recovery. To return the motor to operation after submersion, follow the dewatering procedure listed on the engine cowling and in the owner's manual. Begin by securing the motor in the run position. Remove the engine stop switch lock plate and place the gear shift lever in neutral. Open the dewatering valve by sliding the dewatering lever towards the back of the motor. Slowly pull the recoil starter 10 times until water is cleared from the cylinders. Ensure that the fuel line is connected and squeeze the primer bulb 5 to 10 times. If equipped with electric start, Push and hold the electric starter button for 4 seconds. Push the dewatering lever back to the closed position. Squeeze the primer bulb until firm. Pump the engine primer 5 times. Turn the throttle control to the dewatering mark, or half an inch past normal start position. Reinsert the engine stop switch lock plate. Start the engine. If the engine does not start, pump the engine primer three more times. If the engine still does not start, repeat the dewatering procedure. If immediate starting upon recovery is required, a rapid dewatering procedure may be used on Raider Model 50s equipped with electric start. With practice, this procedure can be completed in under 30 seconds. Upon recovery to the surface, immediately open the dewatering valve to allow water to begin draining from the fuel system. As soon as the motor is secured, press and hold the electric start button until the water is cleared from the cylinders. The fuel bulb should be continuously pumped for this period. Close the dewatering valve and pump the engine primer until firm. Turn the throttle control to the dewatering mark and start the motor. For more information on the Raider Outboards Model 50 or to schedule training courses for operators or technicians, visit RaiderOutboards.com.